The member for Mitchell has the call. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. My question is to the Assistant Treasurer. And I refer the Assistant Treasurer to this newsletter distributed in his electorate under his name that states, we have delivered a surplus on time <laughs> as promised. <laughs> Assistant Treasurer, in which year has the government delivered a surplus and how much was that surplus? <laughs> Before I call the Assistant Treasurer, he will be heard in silence, and the individuals who think their little tricks as he walks up to the microphone are cute, they're wearing thin, and you're all out next time. The Assistant Treasurer has the call. Thanks very much, Deputy Speaker. Well, can you believe it? Can, can you believe it? Can you believe it? The Madam Deputy Biden. Speaker, can you believe? Can you believe? Well, actually, I can't believe the disrespect that the opposition is showing to the chamber at this time. It was their question asked and the Assistant Treasurer hasn't even been able to get his words out. And I believe that the public, who watch all too often this place, will be fairly appalled with the behaviour. The Assistant Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Can you believe that the Liberals would come into this place and talk about the truth of pamphlets being distributed in the Lindsay electorate? <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? After, after the shameful example of what they did back in 2007 in distributing that shameful pamphlet, and the leader of the opposition, he shakes his head, but we all recall, we all recall at the time that when that pamphlet was being distributed. The Assistant Treasurer will resume his seat. The member for Mitchell on a point of order. Point of order, Madam Deputy Speaker. I didn't ask about the believability of his pamphlet. The I asked about whether he had, what, his what was his. The Assistant Treasurer has the call and so far has not been able to actually get to his answer. The Assistant Treasurer has the call. Thank you, thank you Deputy Speaker. And I, I am pleased to be able to respond to the question in relation to this government's strong economic record because we are returning the budget to surplus and we will be we will be delivering a surplus of 1.5 billion dollars that's what we forecast and it'll be a surplus that will increase over time across the forward estimates and that is because we are determined to manage this economy in the interests of working Australians and those opposite it's, it's always good to receive a question about the strength of the Australian economy because uh, you don't often hear them come into this place and talk about how strong the economy is. When they're out there like the, the member for North Sydney talking to an international audience on yeah, Bloomberg, well then they'll tell you how strong the economy is. Or like the Leader of the Opposition when they're over in the UK speaking to an international audience, they want to claim their piece of the credit. They want to claim their piece of the credit. But when it comes to coming into this place and acknowledging the realities of a strong economy, a strong economy because we have taken the responsible economic decisions to ensure that we're returning the budget the to surplus. For Cowan, the member for Cowan will leave the chamber under 94A. The assistant treasurer has the call. The assistant treasurer has the call and the member for Indi is not assisting herself. The Assistant Treasurer has the call. And for the member for Mitchell to come into this place and to brandish around a document, a pamphlet, a pamphlet that has been distributed in the Lindsay electorate after the shameful, the shameful experience of what this country was subjected to during the 2007 election campaign, when, when his cronies out in the Lindsay electorate decided to spread racial hatred, racial hatred in pamphlets. And the Treasurer, Leader of the Opposition. The Assistant Treasurer will return to the Assistant Treasurer will return to the question. And and when it comes to truth, I'll, I'll let the facts of the record stand for themselves. What you did, 
what you did and what are we and what we are doing for the Australian people in delivering a strong economy that will ensure that we spread the, the benefits of the boom so that all Australians get their fair share. The member for Mitchell. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I refer to the Assistant Treasurer's answer where he says he will let the facts stand on their own record. Will the Assistant Treasurer issue a correction pamphlet to his electors and apologise for misleading the electors of Lindsay and correct the record on having delivered a budget surplus? The Assistant Treasurer has the call. The Assistant Treasurer has the call and will be heard in silence. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And I think it's about time you people gave an apology for distributing that shameful pamphlet. And indeed, it was the Leader of the Opposition and his electoral college, his, his conference that had raised funds, and he refused to rule out that those funds were used in the distribution of that pamphlet. It's about time he apologised to the Australian people. The Manager of Opposition Business. Madam Deputy Speaker, that was an, a complete abuse of question time. He was asked a specific question to correct the, the record for his misleading statement. Business will resume his his seat. Seat. The Manager of Opposition Business will resume his seat. The Leader of the House. Madam Deputy Speaker, it's not the government's responsibility if the Opposition asks Dorothy the Dixon. The Leader of the House will resume his seat. Nobody is assisting the Chamber at the moment. The Member for Mitchell. Madam Deputy President, uh, Speaker, I seek leave to table the document from David Bradbury, the our Member strong economy. How is it working for you? Leave is not granted.